Hello everyone, welcome back to our fourth weekly video regarding the unit. Again, this is uh, basically part of the video. We're going to choose a relevant excerpt from the true story of the loyal dog that contains interesting and challenging vocabulary words. Um, these excerpts uh, can be related to real life issues like the environment itself, the concept of loyalty, and printers, authors, personal experiences, coupled with introducing the function, use, and elements of writing an explanatory essay. And now moving on to our basically uh, formative uh, task that we're going to deal with. It's an explanatory essay, so we're going to inform and educate the students about the major elements of writing an explanatory essay. Um, what, what are the topics and how can we clearly maintain uh, an objectively, uh, basically, incredible um, source and opinion generally and provide a well-organized, engaging presentation of information while writing the essay itself. And again, we're going to end by using or by being introduced to a lot of basically challenging questions that are, uh, what are the potential benefits and drawbacks of specific strategies and approaches regarding the topic that we dealt with, which is explanatory essay. Model a well-crafted, informative, explanatory essay regarding bodies, which is first text that we've been introduced to and challenge yourself to find all the elements of an explanatory essay in the text brainstorm the key elements of writing the um, essay that we uh, basically have again as a kind of summary of uh, basically the type of text that we're dealing with and in regard to our text we're going to be introduced to the function and use of writing an explanatory essay by ensuring clarity and coherence in regard to the writing itself, when we organize the essay effectively and verify content accuracy, when we consider peer review as reflection for additional feedback and insights to improve the clarity of the explanation itself. So throughout the process, we're going to be basically uh, watching a video and creating the most relevant checklist of writing the this type of kind of essay using carton papers. And throughout the process, we're going to be drafting um, again, the qualities that people and animals actually share, referring back to our text, the true story of a loyal dog. Again, we're going to delve deeply into the short qualities. We're going to highlight specific characters and behaviors that are common between us, uh, generally speaking. Um, you know, offering similarities and, uh, you know, in terms of understanding the natural world itself. And we're going to conclude basically the task itself by answering, can absolute truth and moral values exist? or are they relative or culturally determined? And now after producing or after focusing on uh, presenting and practicing, we're going to model the product itself, which is writing and modeling a product. So we're going to identify the major elements again, provide details and descriptions um, to enhance our basically vividness of our writing. We're going to, lastly, afterwards, we're going to model a, a paragraph using color coding um, in which students engage um, with various, or the various elements of writing an explanatory essay. Again, how are we going to end it? We're going to ask ourselves several questions that are, how do you choose a strong and clear point for your paragraph or essay and summarize the checklist you take into consideration in modeling real writing itself and now in regard to research and formulating our research question we're going to have a library class on how to formulate a research question acknowledging diverse perspectives engaging in various viewpoints promoting ethical writing uh, when it comes to academic honesty and facilitating future research in regard to meeting academic requirements and again we're going to answer a lot of questions so can my research question adapt to changes or new discoveries in the field can my research question to be divided into sub questions and again um we're going to suggest three words that relate to the concept of human dignity as part of task for the next basically class now as part of the author's purpose we're going to develop a deeper understanding of the main ideas and share thoughts through spoken and a lot of written basically practices we're going to explore the background of the author in alignment with the text and make uh, personal inferences in regard to the essential question so the the concept of vocabulary that we're going to be introduced to going to be history background analyze first read explore anxiously patiently silently and through Fully. Again, the task is going to be preparing a PowerPoint presentation, searching uh, more about the author Pamela Turner. Um, in the first slide, we're going to be introducing the author's name. Second slide, we're going to introduce the author's early life. Third slide, we're going to be introduced to the author's career and achievements. Fourth, we're going to talk about the author's writing style and themes, since again, she tried to um, combine environment, quality, relationships, connection, 
and a lot of basically different um, varieties of the concept vocabulary. In slide number five, we're going to move on to the author's last influence and impact on literature, generally readers and literary world. And we're going to basically end up with saying or answering, is technology bringing us closer together or driving us further apart in terms of human connection and even understanding? 